good morning students children i think you are now watching the news channels and you are fully aware that there is a wild fire still ravaging in the forest of california wild fire or forest fire by the name you can understand that there is fire in the forest and that uncontrollable fire which is uh, in usa california even in australia even there was news that in some parts of brazil uh, the forest was destroyed due to this fire so it is a natural disaster forest fire or wild fire where the forest are affected due to fire and the large amount of trees or natural vegetation is destroyed nowadays it is showing in the news that uh, due to this fire in california even the houses and the people living nearby these forest areas are affected they had to shift from these places people lost their houses their property their farm and you know they are running from there for their lives this forest in uh, fire in california is going out of control and still thousands and thousands of trees are burned to ashes due to this fire just few months back australia also had this uh, wild fire and uh, you know they they had to spray water like when there is fire in some building you know fire engines they come and they uh, spray the water to doze off the fire here in forest how can you enter with the uh, fire engines so water is uh, you know sprayed from the air and that also when it is such in a huge way even the helicopters and this cannot reach there in california nowadays because the fire has just gone out of control so uncontrolled fire in the forest is called wild fires or forest fire uncontrolled you cannot control because forest means what thousands and thousands of trees and if there is fire in one single tree it will spread if you can't control it because fire you all know that fire needs fuel oxygen and heat to ignite if anything gets fuel fuel means you get petrol kerosene diesel oxygen is always needed that's why uh, when a person catches fire it is always uh, said that he should he or she should be covered with a blanket why so there there is no oxygen to stop because oxygen spreads heat as you know when it gets heated if your mother is cooking something in the uh, gas oven and that pan gets heated and heated and heated you have seen it catches fire so all these things are need just one thing there the fire starts and if few trees have already caught the fire now it gets out of control because forest is somewhere you have you can't be vigilant all the time isn't it there may be lightning this these are the causes why there is forest fire or wild fire because maybe lightning as you know lightning there is heat and uh, due to that the the trees catches fire or extreme heat condition in some places like california it was uh, suffering from uh, high temperature nowadays and maybe because of this heat also it can be human carelessness by human carelessness i mean uh, carelessness of human being maybe man you know the little cigarette or uh, some fire or maybe people going to the forest to catch some uh, collect sorry 
collect some firewood and other products of the forest may have been careless done something like they have lighted a match stick or something and it started and then there is no control because you cannot go on uh, dozing of thousands and thousands of trees in a forest so wildfire is a, a kind of a disaster which brings destruction it can cause uh, loss of life here the life of animals are at stake when uh, in the news channel they were showing that animals had died in that californian uh, forest fire it's so because animals where they will run that is their home and they uh, kill they burn because of this forest fire and a uh, lot of loss of uh, life and property and natural property like vegetation growing one tree takes uh, so many years and it just uh, the trees are destroyed uh, uh, turned to ashes uh, just how much loss of this and especially it is still going on so this uh, way wildfire and forest fire is a natural disaster which i will just show you uh, some small pictures there are pictures in your textbook also you can see flame coming out of the forest okay here also this smoke coming out from the forest you can see forest air smoke smoke everywhere and one more i'll just show you you can see the fire in the trees so fire in the trees okay can you see fire in the trees smoke in the forest so this is all about wildfire or forest fire thank you children